hello student now we are discussing about middle term in a binomial expansion in small n is an even natural number then in the binomial expansion x plus a whole to the power n n by 2 plus 1 eighth term is the middle term if n is odd natural number then n plus 1 by whole by 2 8 and n plus 3 by 2 whole 8 are the middle term in the binomial expansion of x plus a whole to the power n now we are going to discuss about integral integral and factor Fractional, integral and fractional parts. In order to find integral and fractional parts of irrational numbers of the form a plus b root c whole to the power n, where a, b, c, and n are natural numbers, let us consider the irrational number r capital R that equals to 5 root 5 plus 11 whole to the power 2n plus 1. Let's capital F be its fractional part that is F equals to capital R minus R. Let G equals to 5 root 5 minus 11 whole to the power 2n plus 1. Clearly 0 less G less 1. Now R minus G that equals to 5 root 5 plus 11 whole to the power 2n plus 1 and 5 root 5 minus 11 whole to the power 2n plus 1 that imply r minus g equals to 2 equals to 2n plus 1 c1 5 root 5 whole to the power n plus sorry multiply 11 to the power 1 plus dot 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 2 n plus 1 c 3 5 root 5 whole to the power 2 n minus 2 11 to the power cube plus dot 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 that imply r minus g equals to an even natural number that imply r plus f minus g that equals also an even natural number that imply f minus g equals to an integer that equals to that imply f minus g equals to 0 such that 0 less f g less 1 and f equals to g equals to 5 root 5 minus 11 whole to the power 2n plus 1 hence the fractional part of 5 root 5 plus 11 whole to the power 2n plus 1 is 5 root 5 minus 11 whole to the power 2n minus 1, 2n plus 1. Now consider the irrational number 5 plus 2. Now consider the irrational number 5 plus 2 root 6 whole to the power n. Let i and f, its capital I and f denotes its integral and fractional parts then 5 plus 2 root 6 whole to the power n that equals to i plus f let g equals to 5 minus 2 root 6 whole to the power n then i plus f plus g i plus f plus g that equals to 5 plus 2 root 6 whole to the power n plus 5 minus 2 root 6 whole to the power n. So i plus f plus g equals to 2 n c 0 5 root over n plus n c 2 5 n minus 2 2 root 6 whole square plus dot 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 th that imply i plus f plus g that equals to an even integer therefore 5 f plus g is an integer.
therefore a plus g equals to 1 f equals to 1 minus g hence the fractional part 5 plus 2 root 6 whole to the power n is 1 minus 5 minus 2 root 6 whole to the power n is i repeat uh, the fractional part of 5 plus 2 root 6 whole to the power n equals to 1 minus 5 minus 2 root 6 whole to the power n greatest term let t r plus 1 and t r b r plus 1th and rth term respectively in the expansion of x plus a whole to the power n then t r plus 1 that equals to that equals to n c r x to the power n minus r a to the power r and t r equals to n c r minus 1 x to the power n minus r plus 1 and a to the power r minus 1. Therefore, t r plus 1 by t r that equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial it's r factorial that into r minus 1 factorial n minus r plus 1 factorial by n factorial that into a by x that imply t r plus 1 by t r equals to n minus r plus 1 by r a by x now t r plus 1 greater or equal to less t r t r plus 1 by t r greater equal to less 1 therefore uh, n minus r plus 1 by r dot a by x equal to less 1 that imply 1 plus n by r minus 1 a by x that equal to less 1 that imply n plus 1 by r minus 1 that equal less x by a that imply n plus 1 by r equal to 1 plus x by a that imply n plus 1 by 1 plus x by a less r that imply r less equal to greater n plus 1 by 1 plus x by a thus t r plus 1 greater equal to less than t r according r less than great equal to greater 1 plus 1 it's n plus 1 by 1 plus x by a now two cases uh, case 1 when n plus 1 by 1 plus x by a is an integer then let n plus 1 and 1 by x plus a equals to m equals to m then from uh, then from 1 we have t r plus 1 greater t r for r equals to 1 2 3 dot dot m minus 1 and t r plus 1 equals to t r for r equal to m then t r plus 1 less t r for r equal to m plus 1 dot 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 n therefore t 2 greater than t 1 t3 greater than t2 t4 greater than t3 dot 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 tm greater than tm minus 1 therefore tm plus 1 equal to tm and tm plus 2 less than tm plus 1 tm plus 3 less than tm plus 2 that imply t1 less than t2 dot 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 less than tm minus 1 
less than T m that equal to T m plus 1 greater than T m plus 2 dot dot T n. This shows that m th and m plus 1 th terms are the greatest term. Now in case 2 n plus 1 by 1 plus x by a is not an integer. Let m be the integral part of this. Then from 1 we have t r plus 1 greater than t r for r equals to 1 to dot dot m and t r plus 1 less than t r for r equals to m plus 1 m plus 2 to dot dot n therefore t2 greater than t1 t3 greater than t2 dot dot t m plus 1 greater than t m and t m plus 2 less than t m plus 1 t m plus 3 less than t m plus 2 dot dot t n plus 1 less than t n that imply t1 less than t2 less than t3 dot dot dot, dot t m less than t m plus 1 greater than t m plus 2 t m plus 3 greater than dot dot, dot, dot t n plus 1 now m plus 1 th term is the greatest term problem the greatest term in the expansion of 1 plus 3x whole to the power 54 where x equal to 1 by 3 here the option option a 28th option b 25th option c 26th and option d 24th solution late T r plus 1 and T r denote the r plus 1 th and r th terms respectively. Therefore, T r plus 1 that equals to 54 C r 3 x whole to the power r and T r equals to 54 C r minus 1 3 x whole to the power r minus 1 that by t r plus 1 by t r that equals to 54 minus r plus 1 by r into 3 x whole to the power r that imply t r plus 1 by t r that equals to 55 minus r by r so t r plus 1 by t r greater than 1 that imply 55 minus r by r greater than 1 that imply r less than 27 half hence 28th term is the greatest term so the option a will be the right answer